Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about glutathione. This glutathione is a tripeptide of three amino acids. It is a tripeptide of three amino acids. That is glutamic acid, cysteine and glycine. So chemically it is gamma L glutamyl L cystinyl glycine gamma L glutamyl L cystinyl glycine it is synthesized in the cytosol so let's see the steps in the synthesis of glutathione the first step is this L glutamate first condenses with L cysteine and it forms gamma L glutamyl L cysteine that is L glutamate it condenses with L cysteine and it forms gamma L glutamyl L cysteine. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme gamma glutamyl cystinyl synthase. Gamma glutamyl cystinyl synthase. Other name of this enzyme is glutamate cysteine ligase. Glutamate cysteine ligase. So in the first step this L glutamate first condenses with this L cysteine and it forms gamma L glutamyl L cysteine. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme gamma glutamyl cystinyl synthase in presence of ATP. K plus and Mg plus plus. This gamma glutamate, next step is this gamma glutamyl cysteine then becomes phosphorylated by the enzyme glutathione synthetase in presence of ATP and it forms enzyme bound gamma glutamyl cystinyl phosphate. Next step is phosphorylation. So, this gamma L glutamyl L cysteine then becomes phosphorylated by the here the enzyme is glutathione synthetase. glutathione synthetase in presence of ATP. Here also one molecule of ATP and it forms enzyme bound gamma glutamyl cystinyl phosphate. Gamma L glutamyl L cystinyl phosphate. This enzyme bound gamma glutamyl cystinyl phosphate then reacts with one molecule of glycine. It reacts with the glycine and here this phosphate group is removed and it is converted to glutathione and it forms glutathione or gamma glutamyl cystinyl glycine. Gamma L glutamyl L cystinyl glycine. This is the synthesis of this glutathione that is L glutamate first condenses with this L cysteine and it forms gamma glutamyl L cysteine. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme gamma glutamyl cystinyl synthase. It is otherwise known as glutamate cysteine ligase. Here one molecule of ATP is utilized and in the presence of K plus and Mg plus plus. Then this gamma L glutamyl L cysteine then becomes phosphorylated in the presence of ATP and the enzyme is glutathione synthetase and it forms gamma L glutamyl L cystinyl phosphate. 
this enzyme bound gamma l glutamyl l cysteinyl phosphate then reacts with glycine and it liberate this phosphate and this glutathione is formed that is gamma glutamyl l cysteinyl glycine that is the synthesis of this glutathione then um, next we will see the functions of glutathione Coming to the functions, this glutathione is an important reducing agent in the tissues. It is an important reducing agent. This oxidized glutathione is known as GSSG. This is oxidized glutathione and reduced form is GSH. This is the reduced form. So, this glutathione, it is an important producing agent in the tissues. This oxidized glutathione that is GSSG is harmful to the tissues, especially to RB cells and this lens proteins. Reduced glutathione that is GSSG, this oxidized glutathione that is GSSG is, is harmful to tissues, especially to RB cells and uh, this uh, lens proteins. It has to be converted to reduced glutathione GSH. This GSH is that is reduced glutathione that is GSH. It is required for the integrity of RB cells membrane and this lens proteins. GSH is required for integrity of RB cell membrane and this lens proteins. So the reaction is this oxidized glutathione that is GSSG in the presence of NADPH NADPH H plus H plus NADP plus it forms GSH that is the reduced form here the enzyme catalyzing the reaction is glutathione reductase glutathione reductase so by donating the uh, hydrogen it helps to destroy this hydrogen peroxide by donating hydrogen it helps to destroy hydrogen peroxide and other peroxide in the cells the reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase that is GSH it removes this H2O2 and other peroxides from the cell here the enzyme catalyzing the reaction is glutathione peroxidase and it forms GSSG that is the oxidized form and 2H2O so, by donating this hydrogen, this uh, reduced glutathione, it helps to remove this hydrogen peroxide and other peroxides from the cells. The reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase. This is a selenium containing enzyme. Then this reaction is important because accumulation of this H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide may decrease the lifespan of RB cells. Accumulation of this hydrogen peroxide decreases the lifespan of RB cells. That is the first function of this glutathione. Another function is that it acts as a coenzyme with the liver enzyme glutathione insulin transhydrogenase. Glutathione insulin transhydrogenase so glutathione it acts as a coenzyme with the enzyme glutathione insulin transhydrogenase this enzyme helps in the catabolism and degradation of insulin that is the second function of this glutathione coming to next function this glutathione and the enzyme glutathione transhydrogenase glutathione transhydrogenase 
This causes reductive cleavage of disulfide linkages in thyroglobulin glycoprotein. It causes this glutathione and the enzyme glutathione transhydrogenase causes reductive cleavage of this disulfide linkages in thyroglobulin glycoprotein. That is one of the functions of this glutathione. Coming to next function, this glutathione is required as a coenzyme with uh, the formaldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. It is required as a coenzyme for formaldehyde dehydrogenase. Formaldehyde dehydrogenase. This enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of formaldehyde to formic acid. formaldehyde to formic acid. So, here also this glutathione is required as a coenzyme. For the enzyme formaldehyde dehydrogenase, this enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of formaldehyde to formic acid. Then another function is, it is also required as a coenzyme for the enzyme glyoxylase. for the enzyme glyoxylase. This glyoxylase enzyme which converts methyl glyoxal to lactic acid. Methyl glyoxal to lactic acid through intramolecular oxidation reduction. Here also it is required as a coenzyme. The another function is it also acts as coenzyme with malyl acetoacetate isomerase. Malyl acetoacetate isomerase. This malyl acetoacetate isomerase catalyzes cis trans isomerization of malyl acetoacetate to fumaryl acetoacetate. Malyl acetoacetate to fumaryl acetoacetate. This malyl acetoacetate it catalyzes cis trans isomerization of malyl acetoacetate to fumaryl acetoacetate. Then another function is this glutathione takes part in gamma glutamyl cycle for the absorption of amino acids from gut. Gamma glutamyl cycle for the absorption of amino acids from the gut. Then this reduced the glutathione that is GSH. It is required as cofactor with prostaglandin synthetase enzyme that is cyclooxygenase. It is required as a coenzyme. It is a cofactor with this uh, enzyme cyclooxygenase that is prostaglandin synthetase enzyme required for formation of endoperoxides from arachidonate in prostaglandin synthesis. Then another function is this GSH, reduced glutathione, it is required for activation of methionine into s adenosyl methionine. Methionine into s adenosyl methionine. s adenosyl methionine is active methionine. So these are the functions of this glutathione. So this is about glutathione. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.